This is Ryan Bizey reporting from San Diego Comic-Con for Galaxy of Toys and Collected Cosmos. And this will be part two of the Hasbro San Diego Comic-Con panel. This will be audio mixed with pictures because they made me turn off my video halfway through the panel for some reason. Enjoy. And, you know, it looks wonderful. and we're doing lots of other stuff with layer and characters as we'll reveal over the, over the, over the coming, uh, coming months. But uh, we wanted to kind of bookend her, her iconic um, tenure with Star Wars. And so we're going to bring to uh, we're going to bring General Organa from Episode Seven in. So there she is. Yeah. So you know, Karen, you never leave us. Princess Leia, never leave us. So it's absolutely wonderful to do that. Comes with a removable jacket, so you can kind of dial as much as you want and take it off and do whatever you need. So you know, really, really important to have her. Um, you know, For uh, Force Awakens gave us some new characters. Obviously, gave us Leia, gave us Rey, and things like that. There's one little character that. Kind of is really mysterious. I don't really know what's in store. Chris probably does. Um, that we wanted to kind of bring to the Black Series, which of course is our funky little friend. Oh, oh. Kind of, now she's very diminutive, so we figured, oh, what else can we throw in the pack as well? Um, a lot of Decker, though. She wears a lot of beads, that one, I tell you. So she's going to come with that chest that held the scope of the saber that Ray discovers. Um, you can open that up, see the interior side, have, it'll come with a hilt in there. So really nice opportunity, you know, of taking a small figure and, and kind of blowing that out, adding extra features. Um, her goggles as well will articulate, you can move them on and off the eyes, depending on how, how weird you want to make them. It's really, really cool. So, um, so these will all be downstairs, so that's our announcements for Black Series today. You know, we've got lots, lots, lots more coming, obviously, as the year, as the year moves, as the year moves. I keep getting interrupted. Sorry, I'm really sorry, but you know, I think we need to go back to Leia real quick. So, Leia is just so iconic to the Star Wars lore that we just, and she's one of our favorites. Um, she's really a fearless leader within the Rebel Alliance and now starting the Resistance, that we couldn't just do her in six inch. So, we are also going to be bringing her into the line in three and three quarter inch in her uh, Hoth outfit. Yeah. So, five point articulation. <laughs> Something we're really excited about because we know that the classic characters are just as important as these new characters that we're bringing into our line. Um, and in addition to that, we will be continuing the Hoth theme. Yeah, if we're going to talk about classic characters, I want a bigger slide than that because. All right, if we're going to take Leia and we're going to put her on Hoth, we're going to need to talk about the Skywalker. No, no, no. Maybe, uh, maybe maybe we'll put him with a companion walk with Hoth. Expanding beyond vehicles and High, figures for the first time. Highly articulated, has a removable arm. Um, <laughs> it's, it's removable, it doesn't just fall off. <laughs> yeah, not a um, defect. <laughs> but I think there's actually even more we can do uh, for Hop because obviously 40th anniversary. Let's do uh, Vader yeah. and Rogue. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, now that we're on this kick, we're doing sort of like these crossover vehicles, creatures. Maybe uh, maybe we tease and do a rap on. This guy got out of his cage yesterday. You know, you have, you have yeah. that, that constant pursuit of Solo that, you know, follow the teeth chasing after with members of the Cantor Club and the, the Guavian Enforcer, but you know who else is on? Always in pursuit of Han Solo. Boba Fett. That's how you do it. Boba Fett. Which is just the, the, you know, that ultimate sort of duel. There's always that chase, that constant pursuit uh, of one another. And uh, I think there was another... This one goes back a little ways. But, yeah. uh, Darth Maul. Um, love this figure. They actually both have our articulated wrists, uh, so you can really start to get those sabers. You get Darth Maul and sabers that break apart. Um, and you really start to build them out a bit more. But you know what? I got one. Because I want to talk about the Emperor. Oh, Love the Emperor. Oh, I love this figure. This is a beautiful, beautiful figure. Full PVC outer cloak, so there's no loss of the texture. Uh, you still get a fully, uh, um, you know, five-point articulated figure. But then uh, we actually sounds like this thing. We go back and forth. So uh, offering uh, swappable hands for the characters, so you know you can get them in as more iconic, uh, you know, cane holding, or you know, if you really want to push it. 
Hey, can anybody on this panel uh, do an Emperor voice, maybe? Say, be it Jedi. <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you, Kevin and Sam. So we've talked super articulated six inch. We've talked five POA three three quarters inch. Who wants to talk about a little something called the vintage collection? I'm gonna skate over the up front a little bit since we're uh, we're running out of time. But vintage collection, you know it, you love it. Super articulated, highly decorative three three quarters inch, where the packaging is probably as important as the product. I uh, just want to uh, touch base with Chris Stern here for a little bit of the legacy of vintage and, and kind of the importance of that history to Lucas and that has for us. Oh, absolutely. So this is something that I'm super excited about. Obviously, the 40th anniversary, you guys. Anybody pick up any of those 40th anniversary figures on the on the carded items? Right? Yeah. Those were amazing. So we were really excited to see you know, where else this could go. And bringing back vintage is something really exciting, especially exciting for me since this is this is why I do what I do and why I love working on Star Wars. This is. This is just one of those things that brings back my childhood, my memories of what made me become an artist and made me want to be a designer. So this is this is awesome that we're bringing this back. Just fantastic. Absolutely. Steve created a video for Celebration that still gives me goosebumps literally every time we see it. So we're going to roll it here, and here's some Kleenex in case oh, people need to wipe the uh, tears away. Can, uh, can you get one down here for us? Here. Right down here, please. Either way. Here we go. All right. Can we roll that video? <laughs> you had such passion for this and have been asking for it. We've been dying to get this out there and you know, talking to you at the booth, knowing this was coming, not being able to say anything yet. Uh, it was just thrilling to be able to, to put this out there. Um, there have also been a lot of questions about you know, what is inbounds and out of bounds for the vintage collection. So we thought we'd clear that up. Um, as Patrick said, it's only five points of articulation moving forward. I'm just kidding. Um, so obviously it's yeah, super articulated. And then um, you know, these are going to be, you know, we, we can do classic characters that have never been expressed in super articulation before. Believe it or not, there are some still, you know, figures that we haven't done super articulated yet. Um, and then also, uh, also reissues of the vintage collection figures with unmet demand. Um, there are constantly new generations of fans getting in here. We want to make sure that 
Um, you know, the last 115 figures we did, if there are some that are really rise to the top that um, have not hit demand, that we get those out there as well. And then, of course, new characters from new entertainment, something we're most excited about. How amazing it is to see The Force Awakens on a vintage card back. So there's a steady stream of that now, thanks to our good friends at Lucasfilm. Um, I don't know if there's one more, I think so. <laughs> and then uh, repacks of classic and modern characters from other super articulated lines as well. So there's a lot of potential. Uh, we're going to continue, of course, to look to you guys for guidance. <coughs> Keep the fan polls and the boards lit up. Let us know what you're looking for, what you think makes for a great um, you know, vintage collection um, item. And then we, of course, have uh, lots in store. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Joe's absolutely right. And I, I kind of want to be really transparent with you. This is going to be a conversation. For those of you who are very vocal about the vintage collection and love it, we're listening and we want to make events like this very purposefully discussions. So after we finish this, I'd like you to come down and kind of have conversations with myself and Joe and the team and, and tell us like within those categories what, what things do you really want. And those of you who know me know that I get up, you know I click on certain websites in the morning and I'm seeing things in forums and I'm we're listening. And so with that in mind, I'm gonna do my very best to be as open, we're gonna do our very best to be open with you with the vintage collection. And I'm gonna try and show you everything we're gonna do in 18. Uh, there are some things I can't show you. And there are some things that uh, I can show you. Um, there's lots of rumors going around. So let's kind of get all that out on the table. And then afterwards, you come find us and tell us what you think. Tell us what you want us to do for like going forward into 19 and beyond. Because we're starting planning there. I want to plan it with you. I don't want to plan it for you. Okay, so as the, as the video showed, the first reveal, uh, our first new vintage collection will be with Ray. We'll re be repacking her into the vintage line, getting that amazing... Oh, hang on. No, sorry. 116, sorry, 100, it wasn't one, otherwise 116, so we're going to continue the numbering. And as you said, there are going to be repacks. We're going to bring in those new characters and express them passionately in the new party. So we're going to be bringing in Kylo Ren, we're going to be in Stormtroopers. These aren't in waves, I'm just showing them as I kind of think about them. Kind of thing. So we're going to have some Force Awakens coming out in uh, 2018. We're then obviously going to be bringing Dr. Afro, which is the, the, uh, the celebration vote. We've got a little bit of an update, and I'm showing you some really early stuff. Chris has very kindly said that we can kind of start to talk and show about this. So, Tom, Chris, why don't you talk about where we are with uh, Dr. Afro? Yeah, she's currently, we're finishing up the sculpts now. We, uh, when we first were well, pleasantly surprised to hear that she had won, and you know, so we started, you know, scouring the comics and looking to see which outfit would be best for her, so we settled on the best, so that way she's a little more versatile. We can take off the best. Because in certain panels we see just a t-shirt, you know, and then, you know, Chris suggested we use the, the belt. Yeah, obviously in the comics she's drawn several different ways. So we, we, we scoured our, our various comics and with publishing we looked at like the, really the coolest outfit and the most versatile outfit. So with, uh, with many discussions and all the artwork that we have on her, we found that this was really the most compelling and really one of the coolest ones that can represent this figure in a really, really awesome way. So uh, with Tom and his uh, talented team of sculptors, they went to work and really produced just an awesome, awesome white down figure from my company. It's really cool. So more of that, you'll see more as we go along. Again, we want to do as much as we can with keeping you up to date on the progress of that. So we have Dr. Afra in the line. Um, we also, I've been on the boards and had a look at the forums, we've got loads of great comments about what should be, what should, what should we actually put on the vintage car that's been in another, in, in, in another, speak, in another super articulated line. So, so, so we're going to, so we're going to take the Rebel Hoth Trooper from the Defense of Hoth 3 pack, which is in the Legacy pack, and we're going to bring him onto the uh, vintage card back. I know there's a lot of kind of questions and ideas out there on, out there on the interweb, and he was, Certainly coming bubbling to the top. Army Builder is the one without the beard. You know, very important to get that one. Um, we'll obviously make a great uh, little companion with the Wampa and the Procroid, I guess, as well. So, kind of, we're doing those. We're doing five or so new ones from, based on new entertainment. Clearly, the silhouettes have nothing to do with it. I'm just putting placeholders. I'm just showing the type, the amounts we're getting out. You know, in 18, we're going to bring out some. And with your support, we'll start bringing out more and more as we move along. But again, just trying to be really, really open and have, start having this discussion. So in terms of, especially Joe's first one, in terms of like classic characters we haven't yet seen, come and find us after this and start influencing, start telling us what you want to see, okay? Um, we're going to bring, bring some Rogue One. We're going to bring Jim, Cassian, and Death Trooper into there. You know, getting those great new images that are kind of feeling classic. I mean, Rogue One just feels well, classic. You know, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll definitely do the double chrome bars on the Rogue One, I think, on the packaging. And we're going to add uh, one more figure in, which is new. We're going to bring in the uh, assault tank driver. Oh, yeah. My, actually, my favorite. Uh, my favorite trooper. But it's like, 
what, why do you pick these stock tank drivers? So, you know, a driver needs something to drive, and this isn't just about figures, we're going to do vehicles as well. So, well, let's, let's kick off, let's kick off, uh, let's, kick off let's kick off vehicles, let's get a vehicle out there in 18 that is classic, feels good, and again, a little like uh, Joe's talking about, there are set certain rules or principles that we're going to be doing for this. So, really early, I mean really early, Mark Boudreau is working probably now. On this, and these are all the parts that are going into it, and he is working in noodling. And we're not, we're gonna, it's gonna be in closed box, it's gonna be with the, it's gonna be with the traditional vintage uh, design. Um, we may not put figures in it because we want to put all the money into the vehicle because we're promising that with the vintage line, we're gonna continue extra molded parts, extra detail, extra deco. It will be the right size, we'll, there'll be no proportionate cheating for this, for this line. This is what you get, is what you get. So, this is super, super detailed. Um, there's even a coffee cup inside that the yeah. commander uses in his station. We found that out on some reference. Space coffee. Space coffee, yeah. But it does come together. You know, once it comes together, we've got panels that come off to reveal you know, two seats inside the commander's station. It's going to have real working treads so that will actually move and have treads like that. And on the back, it carries the hybrid crystal um, cargo containers that we'll all know. One of those will open up and you'll actually be able to remove the very small, intricate kyber crystal containers and then open those and get the kyber crystals out. So play, play value, display value, everything, everything that you guys deserve with vehicles will be reflected in this. So this is our first vintage line, uh, vintage selection vehicle that we'll be doing. Again, come and tell us what you'll see next, okay? So that's the update for the vintage collection. Come downstairs, talk to us about it, tell us what you've done. Right, so if you guys haven't checked it out yet, we're really excited to share Force of Destiny. And so this is a brand new series coming out from Lucasfilm Animation. It's a series of shorts. And these shorts tell those pivotal moments in the destinies of some of our most cherished and celebrated Star Wars characters. And so here's a trailer for the animated series with <laughs> on your own size. The data tape of Imperial base locations. Thank you, Senator. I mean, Princess. I mean, Leia. Stormtroopers. The choices we make. The actions we take. Shape us into forces of destiny.
Again, a lot of great stuff coming up. Remember, Force Friday 2, the madness is going to begin again. We'll see you out there. And please, come on down to the booth. We want to see you guys get one-on-one -on -one FaceTime. Uh, and have a great rest of your time. I hope you enjoyed that look at this panel here. Uh, obviously, we got some great reveals all through the whole panel. Lots of fun stuff. Many people said this was the best Hasbro panel that we've had in years. There were no Angry Birds, thank goodness. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or you can contact me at swccpodcast at gmail.com. Please keep watching my videos and subscribing, because I'm going to have a contest for subscribers and uh, people who watch my videos coming up here very soon. Thank you very much.